Hey everyone, it's Terry at Farm Chem. Today we're working on videos for our Batchmate Pro, and I just want to give you a few of the key features we've incorporated into this so you know what we're working with. Um, all of our Batchmate Pros come with a 60 gallon inductor tank. They all come with a bag opener or jug opener inside. They come with a jet agitation, a rinse ball for inside. They're available in the six and three product. This is the high pro inductor that we use on our units. And you'll see in the, the manuals we talk about opening the bypass valve. That's your bypass valve. This is your inductor valve. In the manual we talk about running your transfer pump so that we can verify the pressure so we know where to set our valves. We we'll want to make sure the bypass valve is in the closed position and we'll take our readings right here uh, with the pump running. At the heart of the Batchmate Pro system is the Coriolis meter. And that's so valuable to the system because it, it senses the density in different products and, and adjusts itself accordingly to read those accurately. There's no calibration required for that. Over here, we're using the Banjo EVX uh, valves, uh, the 12 volt operated valves. And with all the systems, this is the plumbing that comes with them. They come with a coupler and the valve here. Uh, what you'll need that we don't include is your hose barb adapter here. So a two inch to whatever size hose you're putting to it. We don't include that because everybody's setup is a little different, but this stuff does come with the system. I wanted to show you the interior features that we added to the Batchmate Pro. Every one of them comes with a jug opening device. This has the chem blade in it, um, and it has a jug rinser in it, so that spinning nozzle. Once air or water goes to it, it uh, spins out to rinse either the inside of the container or to rinse the jug that you just opened. We also add jet agitation to every one of them so that it mixes the product. I'm going to turn that on so you can see how it rolls that tank for mixing. So we get some good action going in there. If you've added some of your chemicals, it'll help mix that up. If you're doing a dry powder, I do highly recommend that you get the water level up to maybe this level. Uh, before you start adding those dry powders so it has some liquid to help move it around and help dissolve it. Okay? That's how the agitation works. I'm going to show you with this measuring cup how the uh, spinner works to rinse those nozzles. As you can see, you can use that to either rinse the jug or with the lid in place it will rinse the entire tank. So that's how that works. Okay, in this part of the video we're going to go through the basic setup of the Batchmate Pro system. Uh, at this point, I assume you've gotten it, you've taken the wrappers off, uh, you've hooked it up, you've ran your pressure test, and we're gonna enter some of the information that is based off that pressure test, and just some of the general setup, things you wanna watch, look for. Okay, so in your manual, it references uh, opening and closing each valve in sequence, so you can make sure everything's wired, nothing was damaged in transit, those kind of things. And the way we do that is we go to the manual mode, Okay. And to get the valves to open, we have to give them something to run, right? So on with zero, it won't run. So we go in and we set it to one gallon and set it to 100 gallons, doesn't matter to me. But we set it to one gallon and what we do, we're, when we hit the start button, we'll go over and verify that that's the valve that opened. Um, we'll stop it, make sure that valve shuts. And we're gonna do that for, for all seven. If this is a six product, you'll have seven. If this is a four product, you'll have four, obviously and just make sure they all open in the right sequence. So I'm sure you heard that valve open. We'll go over now, we'll look at it, make sure that the valve did open. When the valve is open, you'll see the indicator going up and down. And when the valve is closed, it goes across. So we'll close that valve, make sure that valve closed. Okay, and we'll go through and do the same for all of them. Um, on product seven, which is your rinse valve, which is located directly under the mix tank, uh, we'll do that one. But we want to do them all, but I wanted to ex explain that that one is your rinse one, and it's in a little different position than the rest. But we'll open and close that one. Verify the right valve, open, close it, and we've completed that step. So now in this next step of the video, we're gonna configure our valve timing, okay? And what the valve timing does is if our, if our product is set at five gallons. We want five gallons to come in through that valve and we want the valve to close so that we hit that five gallon target. We have to tell it when to start the closing process. And if you refer back to your manual, 
you'll notice in the chart for valve timing that our pressure on the gauge was 17 and a half when we did a transfer, okay? And based on that, we're gonna set our valve timing for initial setup at 0.47. And to do that, we go into the configuration mode. Okay? And you see I have them all programmed except for valve one here. And touch that button. Okay, it'll open up. We're gonna enter the value of 0.47, enter. And you'll see that um, it's set there. We'll go down and do that for all of them. Now the reason valve seven is different, again, that's our rinse valve. And that valve is the water coming through it to rinse the system is under pressure from the pump. So it's flowing faster than the rest. So we start at double our set value. So 47 times two is 94. That's why that one starts at that, at that set. Okay. So again, if we're after that five gallons and, and we want to try to hit it so it stops at that five gallons, what we're telling it by entering that 0.47 value is that at 4.53, so as the system's reading the number of gallons transferred, at 4.53 it'll trigger it to start that valve to close. And the goal is to end up at the five gallon. That's what the early shutoff valve timing is for. So there's two ways to enter a product recipe in the system. You can either enter, enter it as the total number of gallons you want to go into your load, or you can enter it by the gallons per acre of that product you want to go into the load. You can do it either way. So let's start off with our first recipe. Let's say we're gonna do a 3,000 gallon tank. We're gonna fill our 3,000 gallon sprayer tank and we know the number of gallons of each product that we wanna put into that load. So let's, let's go into the product recipe. And the first one, we know that on that, on that load we wanna enter we want to put 10 gallons into it, okay? On the second product, we want to do five gallons, okay? And on the third one, we want to do two, okay? All right? And products four, five, and six on this sixth product are not used in this load, right? The other thing we want to do from this is we want to tell it how many gallons we want to run through the adductor system to flush it out. A good rule of thumb is 10, okay? 10 gallons, okay? And, and that does not change if you convert it over to doing gallons per acre or anything. The rinse amount is, is a set amount. The gallons per acre do not change that, okay? But we're doing gallons into a load right now. So we're gonna go to the home screen and we're gonna go up here to our acres dispense and we're gonna do one, okay? So that brings in our target values of the 10, 5, and 2, just like we want to go into the load. And when it's all done, it'll run 10 gallons of water through it to rinse the system. That is one way to enter your product recipe. Now I'm going to show you the other way. So we go into our product recipe. Okay? And let's say on product 1, it has an application rate of 1 gallon per acre. Okay? On Product two has a half gallon per acre uh, use rate. So everything is entered in gallons, so, so half a gallon or two quarts per acre would be 0.5. Okay. And product three has an application rate of 0.25 gallons per acre. So we're gonna enter that as 0.25, okay? One fourth of a gallon, okay? Now we'll go back to the home screen. As you can see, that didn't change our rinse amount. That stays there. But now we'll go in and tell it how many acres we're going to run that for. So if this is a 10 acre batch, system does the math for you. And now you're doing 10 gallons of product one, five gallons of product two, and two and a half gallons of product three. That is the way you can set another product recipe. And the last thing we're gonna do as, as part of that product recipe is, is explain the dispense information. And what that is, is a field that records on the, the printed ticket, if you have a printer, or on the SD card uh, each time you run a batch. As you can see, I have a nice little welcome message to you here. And you get 30 characters per box, okay? And to change that, simply touch the box. You can back out of it and erase it all and start over 
Or let's say you're on Gibson Farms field seven and you did that one and now you want to go to field eight. Let me back it out. And we just change it to Gibson Farms eight. Okay. Again, that will print on each ticket if, you, if you're using a printer and if you're using the SD card only, it'll record it on the SD card also. And then back to the home screen. Okay, in this part of the video, we're actually gonna run some product. Um, your first time through with the Batchmate Pro, I highly recommend it, that if you're able to, to run the system with just water the first time, to do that and, and just to get yourself comfortable with it. Um, kind of how things work, you know, we don't want to mix some chemicals together that aren't quite what you planned. Um, another thing, prior to running any chemical through the system, um, you need to make sure all the air is out of the lines coming to the manifold system. Um, air in the lines uh, drops your gallons per minute rate down, the unit will alarm. Um, there are ways to resolve that and fix it, but it's, it's not the smoothest operation. Uh, I can't stress enough the, the importance of having the air out of your lines before trying to run your first batch. Okay, <clears throat> now for this, we're set up here in our shop and we're going, with our test manifold and stuff, we're running an inch and a half pump. So a couple things you're gonna notice as we're running is this is the gallon per minute that are transferring through the system. That's your chemical uh, coming in. You're gonna see flow rates uh, during this demonstration, 12, 13 gallons a minute. Please keep in mind we're using a, an inch and a half pump, uh, only running about 17 and a half PSI. Uh, what we see when we're actually running with a three inch transfer pump and in the 34 PSI range, our transfer rate's 25 to 30 gallons a minute. So um, you will see when it gets down to the rinse because it's under pressure, that transfer rate will be up 25, 30 gallons a minute. So just a couple things for you to watch uh, and understand as we're running here. I'm gonna go into the product recipe and I'm gonna set every product to five gallons. I'm gonna leave product six at zero, and you'll see that the system goes through its sequence. It'll check that there's anything to run on product six. It'll see that there's not, and then it'll go to the next one. And I'm gonna change the rinse to five gallons, just to speed it up a little bit for our demonstration. Okay. I'm gonna go to the home screen, and I don't want those values. I wanna run it at one acre. Right, just like entering the gallons that I want to run. Now you say, see it reset all of my values down to five. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pump started up and I'll come back and talk a little bit and try to talk over that pump so you can hear me. Okay, now through the, the magic of video, I've got our pump running. Um, I've verified that all my lines are correctly uh, attached to the system as I want them to. We've set our, our uh, manual presets on the valve. I've got the adductor bypass valve closed so that I'm actually forcing water into the adductor and creating that vacuum to, to pull chemical in through the meter. Okay, I've got all that done. I'm gonna press the start button and we'll watch it go. We'll probably speed that up a little bit through time here and then I'll explain some of the readings as we're done. Okay, so what we see here is right now we're transferring our chemical at 12.6 approximately gallons per minute. And like I said earlier, it's slow because of the pump we're using, right, indoors. Another thing while it's running I want to point out is you see we ended up at 5.04. So the system went four one hundredths of a gallon over what we wanted it to do. Now let's see what product two does. Oh, fortunately, it came out at the same rate. And what that is, is valve timing, like we talked before. Um, you'll see some variation. They won't all be exactly the same. And that's because of the timing of that motor, right? One will close this a little bit faster than the other. One will open a little faster than the other. And it's all valve timing. And if you're consistently running four one hundredths over, you can change that valve timing to close one tenth faster or whatever you want until you get fairly consistent. The four one hundredths of a gallon is pretty darn accurate. Okay, as product five finishes up here, we're gonna watch it pause as it looks at product six, determines that there's nothing there to run, and then it'll go down and open the valve for your rinse cycle. 
I want you to pay attention to the gallon per minute transfer rates. Like I said, you're up over 33 gallons a minute in transfer. And that's normally what we see uh, with a higher pressure pump uh, running the system. All right, so we, we ran our first batch and we printed out a ticket. And I want to show you internally where the SD card is located. So first of all, it comes with two SD cards. Uh, it comes with a spare located right here. And the SD card that's in the uh, display itself is located right here. If you press on it, it'll pop out and you can take it out. Insert that into your computer. You can download the CSV file off of it and you have your daily run report. So you replace it, just push it back in, it clicks in place, and that's where your SD cards are located.